Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights and you're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I wanna to talk to you about how awesome the curves layer adjustment is. Now it's so awesome that I use it on almost every photo. It's very versatile and it does a lot of different things. You can use the curves layer adjustment to lighten a photo. You can use it to darken a photo. You can also use it to add contrast or to take contrast away and add like a matte effect to your photo. And you can even use it to add color and tone to your photo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that using this photo here. We're gonna add a little pop to it and make it a lot more interesting than it is right now. So the first thing we need to do is add the curves adjustment layer. And to do that, you're gonna come down to the bottom of your layers panel. You're gonna select the little circle with the half circle in it and select curves from your drop down list. It's gonna bring up this nifty little graph here and it's important to understand how this graph works. So on the right hand side and the top part of your graph, this represents your highlights. The bottom left hand side of your graph represents the shadows in your image and everything in between is kind of your grays and mid-tones. So it's important to know that before moving forward. So to lighten a photo, all you would do is grab the middle part of your graph. So this line here, you're just gonna click your mouse and drag up and to the left. So I'm holding my mouse down while I'm dragging up and to the left and this is lightening my photo. And by reverse, if I were to drag my line down and to the right, it would darken my photo. So that is how I lighten and darken my images. Now I wanna add a little bit of color tone to this photo. So there is a way to do that using the curves adjustment layer and that's to select a different tonal range from our dropdown. So right now we're on the RGB range, which means that everything in this graph represents all colors, the reds, the greens, and the blues in our image. Now, if I were to select red from the dropdown, my graph would turn red and any adjustments that I make would be on the red scale. So by dragging my line up and to the left on this graph, we're adding more red to our photo. By dragging it down and to the right, we're really reducing the reds in our image. We're taking them away and adding more blues or cyans, I guess is the opposite of red. So the same goes for green and blue. If we were to do this on the green channel, dragging up and to the left would add more green, down and to the right would add more purple or magenta, which is the opposite of green. And in regards to blue, same thing goes. Up and to the left adds more blues, down and to the right adds more yellows. So yellow is the opposite of blue on the graph, so anything down here is gonna be more yellow. So let's play around with this. I wanna add some more reds to our photos. So there's kind of this brownish, purplish red here or warm tones already in the image. So I do wanna make them a little bit more red. So I'm gonna make sure that red is selected from my drop down, and I'm gonna drag it up and to the left in my graph. Now I don't want it to affect the whole image. Some of this stuff, I don't want the color to change. Like I don't want the bluebells to actually change this red. And I don't want the green brush down here to turn to red either. So I'm actually gonna use my layer mask. So I'm gonna come over and select a brush from my toolbar. Make sure that my foreground color is set to black. I'm gonna make sure my opacity is okay. Right now it's set at 50% and that's okay. And the hardness of my brush is set to zero. Now, making sure that I actually am on my layer mask, I'm gonna use my brush and paint this red off the parts of the photo that I don't want it to be applied to. So I don't want it to be applied to this kind of green brush over here. So I'm gonna just take my brush and paint it off the image there. I also don't want it to affect the bluebells, so I'm just gonna adjust my brush size and I'm doing that by hitting the bracket key on my keyboard. Hitting the left bracket key is gonna make your brush size smaller. Hitting the right bracket key is gonna make your brush size bigger. So using this left bracket key, I'm gonna adjust my brush size and I'm just gonna brush that red off the bluebells. Now I like the way that looks. I like the tone that that's made. If it's a little bit too much, you can always adjust your opacity as well. So you can play around with that if you'd like. So now I've adjusted the tone there a little bit. I actually wanna add some more purplish to this photo. So I'm gonna come down, add a new adjustment layer. So I'm gonna come back up to curves. This time I'm gonna select green from the drop down list. And I know that I wanna make some of this a little bit more purple. So I'm gonna come and deepen some of these colors by dragging my green graph down and to the right a little bit. 
Now this time, instead of painting off, I actually want to paint on. So to do that, I need to invert my layer mask so that it's black, which means that this effect will be hidden on the photo. And then I can use a white brush to just paint it onto the parts that I'd like. So to invert my layer mask, I'm going to hit Command or Control I. I'm going to come over and select a white brush. So making sure my foreground color is now set to white. I'm just going to brush this purple onto the parts of the photo that I want it to be applied to. Now I like that part a lot. I'm going to do one more thing and just pop the blues in the photo as well. So I'm going to go back to curves, select blues from my drop down. I'm going to bring up the blue. And again, I'm going to invert my layer mask. So I'm going to hit Command I. And I'm just going to brush the blue onto the photo where I want it to, to be. So I just want to bring up the blue a little bit more in our little bluebell here. And I think that's good. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add some contrast to this photo. So I'm going to go back down, select a new curves layer adjustment. So to add contrast to any photo, you want to increase your highlights and increase your shadows, which by default decrease some of your gray tones. So that's what makes your photo look more contrasted is when you have more highlights and more shadows and less in between gray tones. So to do that, we're going to make sure we're just on the RGB, which is the entire um, tonal range. It's not on red or green or blue. Um, we're going to work on the whole image and we're going to add some contrast. So to do that, we're going to drag the right hand portion of our highlights up. We're going to drag the left hand portion of our shadows down and it adds this contrast effect. We've kind of made this S curve on our graph and that is adding contrast to our photo. It's, it's raised the highlights and it's lowered the shadows and it's really added some contrast. So here's before without the contrast, here's after with the contrast. And again, I like to paint things onto my photo rather than paint things off. So I'm going to invert my layer mask and I'm just going to increase my brush size and just paint a little bit more contrast onto the corners and anywhere where I feel we need a little bit more contrast in our photo. So I like that a lot. Now I want to add a matte effect. So matte effects are really popular all the rage right now. Everyone's adding a matte effect to everything. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to come back down, create a new curves adjustment layer. And a matte effect is essentially the opposite of um, a contrast layer. And what it does is it flattens your highlights and it flattens your shadows. So to do that on a curves adjustment layer graph, all you have to do is grab the top right hand side of your graph and drag it down the right hand side of your photo. So this is flattening your whites. And grab the bottom left hand side of your graph and you're going to drag it up the side of it, your graph. And this is flattening the blacks. So you're making a matte effect by flattening the blacks and flattening the white. Now, if this is too much, you can always adjust the opacity or you could paint it off of whatever part of the photo you don't want the effect to be on. So I'm not going to leave it quite so drastic. I'm going to bring my opacity down a little bit, but it's still added kind of a nice little effect to the photo. Now, the final touch is going to be to just really add some light and some dark to parts of the image. So to do that, I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer. I'm going to bring up my whites. I'm going to invert my layer mask and I'm going to brush on just some light into the photo where I like it. And then Wherever I'd like to add some dark, I can do the exact same thing, but in reverse. I'm going to go down, new curves adjustment layer. I'm going to bring down my colors. So down into the right is darkening my photo. And I'm going to invert my layer mask and just paint on the dark where I'd like it to be. Now I think that looks pretty good and as you can see I've used seven different curves layers and it's changed our photo a lot. It's made it go from this image 
to this image. So I hope that gives you some motivation and some inspiration when it comes to how awesome the curves adjustment layer is. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can come on over to Facebook and find me there at facebook.com slash photography. And if you are a photographer entrepreneur, I'd love for you to come join me over in the Photopreneur Posse where I share tips, tricks, and uh, have a really great community going on for photography entrepreneurs. So come on over. It's called the Photopreneur Posse. We can't wait to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.